In this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how we took a client's website from a brand new website with no rankings to the first page of Google in just 30 days. If you Google Bar from Fitters Kent, you'll see our client's business is now number one in the map pack. And their website, ranking at number six in organic search. Sounds unreal, right? Well, let me show you the secret behind the strategy. The website we built, the optimizations we implemented, and the page structures that make it all work. If you're new here, hi, I'm Kurt from One Base Media, and for over a decade, we've been helping local businesses get more leads, more customers, and ultimately make more money. Our videos reveal tips for local businesses to boost their online presence, and also help agencies and freelancers streamline their operations and get some amazing results for their clients. So if you find our content useful, remember to like it, and don't forget to subscribe so that you never miss a video. Now for this website, we didn't use WordPress, which is our usual go-to platform. Instead, we decided to try out a platform called Go High Level. If you haven't checked it out yet, there's a link in the description where you can get an extended free trial. Here's how it works. Once you're in the platform, you set the website up as a snapshot. Then you build the website using one of their templates. It's a drag and drop software that's super easy to use, actually easier than WordPress, since there's no need for installations or plugins. You just start building straight from the page builder. Another thing we did to rank faster was choosing a domain that included our primary keywords. For this client, we used Pro Bar from Fitters Kent as a domain. It has all the primary keywords, bathroom, fitters, and Kent, which played a huge role in helping us rank quickly on Google. The next thing we did was keyword research. This is an important step because we want to identify all the variations of the keywords people are typing into Google. A great way to start is by checking the top competitors' websites. For example, when you open a competitor's site, you'll find related terms like bathroom design, bathroom installation, wet rooms, and shower rooms. These are all variations of the main keyword that you can target. Instead of focusing only on bathroom fitters, you can build individual pages for these related services. And that's exactly what we did for our client's website. We broke it down into separate service pages for bathroom design, bathroom installation, wet rooms, and shower rooms. Each page targets a specific keyword variation, making it easier to rank for different searches. We also used SEMrush to refine our research. For instance, we looked at related terms in different geographic areas, like Medway, Ashford, and other towns. You can also search for your main keyword like bathroom fitter and click on the related tab in SEMrush. This will show you alternative terms like bathroom installers or bathroom plumbers. These related terms can give you plenty of ideas for variations to target. From here, you'll want to build a full strategy in a Google Sheet. We use a template for this and I'll put the link in the description. Here's how it's structured. We have the home page, which will be the main landing page for our website. Then we have an about us page. This falls under the info category because we will not optimize the info pages for any keywords. Then we have the main navigation pages. These are the core service pages that appear in the site's main menu or navigation at the top. For example, pages like bathroom design, bathroom installation, wet rooms, and shower rooms. We also have a coverage areas page. This is an informational page about locations like bathroom fitters in Kent and all the other locations we provide our services in. Then we have gallery and contact pages. These also fall under info since they're not keyword focused. After that, we have local service pages. These pages target specific areas like bathroom fitters Dover. The reason we have service pages for specific areas is because whenever someone searches for bathroom fitters in that area, our client's website shows up. So for example, when we search for bathroom fitters Dover, our client's website is already on the first page of Google. Next, we're gonna focus on blog posts. For the blog, the goal is to create location specific posts that add value and drive traffic. For example, we've done posts like house prices in Kent, which is a general information piece about the Kent area. Then we've written more practical posts like how to measure a bathroom and how to make a bathroom look more spacious. Another example is average bathroom fitting pricing in Kent. This post is focused on answering specific questions people might have about costs for our service. If you go to Google and type in bathroom fitting cost Kent, you'll see this blog post has already been indexed and is on the first page. It's even starting to appear as a rich snippet, which is great for visibility. The idea is that when someone searches for bathroom fitting cost Kent, they find this blog post, click through to it, and land on our website. This creates an opportunity to capture potential leads looking for services in the Kent area. We've also covered questions like, what's the average hourly rate for a bathroom fitter in Kent, and how much does it cost to remodel a small bathroom in Kent? These types of posts help establish the website as an authority in the region by providing detailed, helpful information. By building out these information pieces tailored to the Kent area, we've managed to rank on the first page for several key terms, driving local traffic to the site. This approach works well because it not only attracts potential clients, but also strengthens the site's overall SEO strategy. By categorizing your pages like this, you create a clear roadmap for your content and SEO strategy. 
It makes it easier to optimize each page and ensures your site covers all relevant keywords effectively. Again, the link for this Google Sheet will be in the description. The next step is all about tracking everything. We want to track progress in three different ways. First, we're going to set up Google Analytics. You'll need to create a Google Analytics profile, which will give you valuable insights into website traffic and user behavior. Next, set up Google Search Console to monitor how your site appears in Google search results and track performance there. Finally, we'll use a tool called Search Atlas to track keywords. When using Search Atlas, you'll go to the Keyword Rank Tracker. From here, zoom into the specific section where you're adding the keywords you want to track, like Bathroom Designer Kent or Bathroom Fitters Kent. These are the primary keywords we're targeting, and Search Atlas helps us keep tabs on their ranking performance. Additionally, we'll look at the Google Map profile and set up a local SEO heat map. For example, if someone searches Bathroom Fitters Kent, we want to track where our Google Business Profile is showing up in the map pack. This involves inputting the target keywords and monitoring their visibility in local search results. Before starting the tracking process, it's important to first submit the Google Business Profile. To do this, visit google.com forward slash business, set up a profile using the business address and submit it for verification. Once it's verified, go in and fully optimize the profile. For the optimization, add all necessary details, including business categories, a detailed description, phone number, website link, social media profiles, service areas, and opening hours. Every section should be fully filled out for maximum visibility. We've done this step already, and as you can see, the profile now includes all of this information. This step ensures the business profile is complete and ready to rank locally. We also have a full video on how to optimize a Google business profile, and I'll include the link in the description for anyone who wants a step-by-step -step guide. Once the profile is optimized, go back to tracking everything with the tools mentioned earlier. This way, you'll have a clear picture of how your strategy is performing. The next step is writing all the content. Here's how we did it for this website. We start by setting up a Google Drive folder where we organize and build out all the pages. Each page is written to be at least 750 words long. Once the content is written, we run it through a platform called Surfer SEO. This tool helps us fine tune the content for better search engine performance. It's very easy to use. First, we copy and paste the entire content into Surfer SEO, and the platform then gives us a list of suggestions, including keyword usage, headings, paragraph lengths, and the number of images needed. While we follow most of these recommendations, we also apply our judgment to ensure the content stays natural and relevant. One key metric we focus on is the content score. We aim to get it above 70. If the score falls into the orange range, below 70, we found that the page doesn't perform well in rankings. So we'll make adjustments based on Surfer SEO suggestions until the score improves. This process ensures all the content is fully optimized and ready to perform well in search results. The next step is to add all of this content to the website. Head over to the website builder and from there, we start placing the content on the appropriate pages. For example, when optimizing a page for bathroom designing in Kent, we make sure everything is properly structured. We double check the header tags to make sure they're set up correctly and add relevant images to complement the content. We also include FAQs on the page to make it more useful and engaging for visitors. The goal is to fully optimize the page, ensuring it has the right structure and layout. Once all the content is added, we move on to optimizing the title tags and descriptions. For instance, if the homepage is targeting the keyword bathroom fitters in Kent, we make sure that the phrase appears in both the title tag and the description. Just make sure the titles and descriptions are of proper length. Titles ideally under 55 characters and descriptions should be around 155 characters. We repeat this process for all pages. For example, a page targeting bathroom fittings in Dover would have bathroom fittings Dover in both the title and description. The next step is to submit the website to all relevant business directories. We've compiled a list of over 200 directories and I'll share the link to this sheet in the video description. All you have to do is systematically go through the list and start submitting to all of these directories. These directories are carefully chosen for their ability to drive good traffic to the website. To maximize the chances of the submissions being indexed, we use a slightly different business description for each directory, so you also want to do the same thing. For every submission, we record the date, the live link once approved, the status, the email address used, username and password used for the account. Once the directory submissions are done, the next step is internal linking. So we created a coverage page for our client that lists all the areas that they operate in. This page is structured to link internally to individual location pages. So if you click on Gravesend, it will take you to a page dedicated to that location. This approach strengthens the internal linking structure of the site, ensuring it's well organized and optimized for search engines. And that's pretty much it. This whole process is how we managed to get this website on the first page of Google within just 30 days. Thank you for watching until the end. I hope you got a lot out of the video. So our goal here is to help you generate the best quality leads so you can fill out your diary with more customers and grow your business. And that's it from me. 
And by the way, if lead generation is a problem for you right now, then I've left a link in the description that will help you solve that problem in under three minutes. I wanna say a big thank you again for watching our video. If you want to see more content like this, please do like and subscribe. And remember to also leave a comment in the comment section. We read and respond to every comment we get. Have a great day. I'll see you on the next one.